<laughs> so this is my totally prepared list. I put that there because I memorized my stuff. Anyway. <laughs> so uh, some of you guys know that I'm a ticket writer. Uh, the rest of you just learned you hate me, but that's where I'm going to go first. <laughs> so uh, I walk around and make the world worse. I suck the devil's dick. It, it works. <laughs> but uh, I was out. This is actually Tuesday this happened. I was walking out kind of near the wreck. And if you're like northwest of the wreck, there's a parking lot. You need a red decal. And there's a couple like handicapped spots there. So I walk up, and I see the handicapped spot, and I go and start writing a ticket, because I hate handicapped people. It's terrible. <laughs> they, they get more parking, more government assistance, more chromosomes, they're greedy. They're greedy. <laughs> <laughs> they're greedy. They're greedy. They're greedy. They're greedy. But, uh, oh, it, it's going to get worse. <laughs> but uh, there was this dude just sitting in the car, and he had his arm kind of out the window, and he didn't have a tag. So uh, I walk up, I'm kind of nervous already, because there's only one way this conversation goes. Uh, hello, sir. You need a, a ticket to park here. Fuck you. Uh, bye. <laughs> what I was expecting. Uh, what I got. Uh, hello, sir. You, you can't park here. You need a red tag. Uh, so I'm with the police. Oh, fuck. The real policeman. <laughs> and he's like, uh, there going to be about six more cars here. And I'm like, no, no, it's cool. You can park here. We're going to be here for a couple hours. I'm like, I get it. I don't matter. God, fuck. <laughs> I felt like Captain America when the real Avengers show up. Oh, <laughs> oh I'm sorry. The man who's got superpowers believing in America. <laughs> and push ups. I'm not a It's like when Joe Biden, it's like he has so much like more more power, but then he meets someone with like real authority, like Joe Biden meeting like a high school principal. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I heard no one that. He has a big Joe Biden friend. <laughs> like, you. His name was Officer Brian, by the way. I didn't change that because there were like four million fucking Brian's in this town. Yeah. I, uh, I'm not like freshman dorm hall actually. We had like six Brian's and it started like giving them nicknames to tell them apart. The first one, pretty easy, country Brian. Wore boots, wore a hat, figured it out. Next one, black Brian. If you can't figure that one out, don't go to church. <laughs> we also had a we had Brian that I totally fuck. Uh, tall. We had tall Brian. <laughs> and we had butt sex Brian. That was a weird one. <laughs> No, he didn't, like, have a whole bunch of butt sex. That'd be fine. He, like, made one joke about it the first day, and I don't know his last name. So. <laughs> but, hey, we'll do it. So, my last girlfriend told me that I fucked like a rabbit. Then she said, hey, stop fucking all those rabbits. <laughs> but, uh, we were talking one day, and she's like, Lawrence, I need you to give me a free pass. You guys know what this means? Free yeah. Pass. A couple yeses. <laughs> if you don't. Uh, basically, if they meet this certain person, I have to let her have sex with this person. Because that's how people work. They're like, oh, your boyfriend said, mm, all right, I'll suck it. Like, I think that's, I think that's how it works. <laughs> but her person was Chris Hensworth. Thor. You guys know Thor? He's tall, muscly, and blonde, super sexy. Like the opposite of, not quite the opposite of me. <laughs> but uh, I can respect him. Very attractive man. I get like a half chub every time I see him out of respect. I'm not kidding, but like, I know. I know he's that attractive. But she's like, don't worry, you can have one too. You can have your own free pass. And I'm like, anyone? And she's like, anyone. I'm like, anyone? And she's like, anyone. Which was a lie. Because uh, her sister was not on the list of her. <laughs> and she was 12. I didn't want to. <laughs> <laughs> I was raised a Christian and we came up on that last year. <laughs> no, that's the beginning of the next one, don't worry. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I was raised Christian. Not quite Christian anymore. I'm an SA, we're like agnostic, because uh, fuck it. That's kind of where I got. But there's one thing I never really got about Christianity. They're like, God is everywhere. He's in everything. But when you pray, make sure you look at your generals. Talk in there. <laughs> Our Father, who art in my penis. I do my veins. I don't know. It's weird. We're going to have to sit on that one. So, I have a smartphone, for those of you that are tired of these dangerous jokes, but uh, I like smartphones. I get nervous, though, that someday we're going to have like a really smartphone. I'll be like, Siri, where can I buy a lottery ticket? I'll be like, Lawrence, don't buy a lottery ticket, you retard. I'm like, okay, Siri, that's an offensive turn, but I'll do. I'll be like, Siri, uh, where can I buy some butter, or like olive oil, or something? And she's like, Lawrence, you shouldn't have got your, duck, your dick stuck in that ring. And I'm like, oh, that's not what I asked. <laughs> I like dorm showers, because I only want to shower with lava or liquid nitrogen. <laughs> <laughs> and ask when he gets a question. 
So you're ready. You're being asked a question. If you could meet anyone, alive or dead, who would it be? Anyone. You pick anyone at all, alive or dead. Nice try. All right. If you could pick anyone, <laughs> alive or dead, who would you meet? Yeah, alive or dead. Helmir. Who's that? Helmir. I got, I got nothing. No Helen Mirren jokes up here. Sorry. Anyone? Who is this guy? Oh, I actually have an answer. We're going back here, so I'm not going to go for it. What you got? Uh, Jim Henson. Jim Henson? I can respect that. Okay. You're kind of fool down, dude, sit down, have a dinner. If I could pick anyone alive or dead, though, I'd pick Donald Trump. Dead. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta respect Trump. He's the best thing that's happened to that party for the past, like, 50 years. The best thing. The Democratic Party, for sure. Right? <laughs> By February 2016. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think they make it that fast. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're too funny. I mean, <laughs> so you guys know Detroit Painters? You guys have heard of this movie? Yeah. Okay, we gotta know he's the president of a rather prestigious university. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the University of Mary Washington. Yeah, he's. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I recently learned that there's also a rapper named T Pain. Put out a couple of songs, he's decent. But uh, I kept getting these email alerts, and what they were, were uh, song titles from T-Pain. But I thought that Troy Payne was just talking to me, and I felt pretty special. So it'd be like, T-Pain, I'm on a boat! And I'd be like, T-Pain, thanks. I, I mean, that's cool. Like, I, didn't, I didn't really need to know that. T-Pain, all I do is win. Fuck off, T-Pain. <laughs> you do a decent, but don't be a dick about it. T-Pain, take off your shirt! And I'm like, oh, T-Pain, what? Well, T-Pain, buy you a drink? And I'm like, Couple and then we'll tell. Okay. <laughs> There's one that kind of weirded me out though. I had T Pain, I'm in love with a stripper. Like, oh, that's probably why he's leaving. 